Hello everyone, this is Marcel. I'd like to welcome you all to my channel. The title of this video is How to Achieve Greatness. And as we dive into this topic, you'll realize very quickly that the key to success in almost anything is understanding oneself. To start, in order to discuss what we mean by greatness, we have to define it. Greatness is entirely relative. It represents your ultimate goal, the person whom you want to become. It is crafted by your furthest desires of what you ever want to achieve and attained only through your willingness to persevere. With the realization and understanding that greatness is self-defined, one can take a profound level of ownership in the direction we want our lives to go. I like to believe that everyone has a right to look in the mirror and reflect a sense of resounding pride that we have left our mark on the world and experienced everything that we have set out for. So why is it so common that people are deprived of that very basic concept? I see this being caused almost entirely by two distinct situations. The first of which being, as children, we are rarely, if ever, given the tools we need to truly understand the root cause of our ambitions or desires in the first place. Children are given blind encouragement first in an effort to protect their feelings instead of the more valuable ability to self-analyze. Then couple that with a predominantly commercial society that quickly misdirects the ambitions and goals of young, impressionable people, that materialistic garbage and superficial social concepts are truly the biggest meaning in life. The trick to beating the system, and yes, I do believe the system is designed to not allow people to achieve greatness or to be satisfied with what they've accomplished, is to recognize when something we desire is actually just the result of outside influences. For the most part, when we accomplish something, let's call them false goals, like buying that big fancy car, or getting married so your parents will finally stop bothering you about not having a family. It is not the accomplishment, but rather the removal of a problem or lack of said item that generates the sense of relief. It can very quickly become a vicious cycle appeasing others and buying new things in order to just relieve that pressure for one more day. Here is the first tool that I would like to share to remove false goals and clear the pathway to greatness. Let's say that a person, just for example, wants to be president. Fairly straightforward, right? My first question to them would be why? Perhaps their answer would be they want to make a change in the world. Though is a president really able to change much of anything? Considering the countless advisors and the pressures from Congress, it may be possible to make bigger changes without having to be a public figure. Maybe the reasoning is to have power, though a president is basically the ultimate form of a public servant. With all the regulations binding them, their hands are most likely quite tied. It may be possible to be much more powerful without all that legislation. Perhaps all they want is to be respected. And with that kind of political figure almost constantly being disrespected and criticized for every single decision, there are countless other careers that would allow for much easier respect to be earned without the relentless criticism. Now, none of this is intended to crush the dream of the person who wants to be president. I fully support that. It's an admirable goal. And if it is just the title that they're striving for, it may be possible, especially with a willingness to study and understand politics. So why is this thought process so important? Well, thinking smaller for a moment, when a person wants to spend six or seven hundred dollars on an accessory like the newest iPhone, it pays to know why that desire is even there. The average person spends a substantial amount of time and energy into projects and friendships and products that never really pay off, depreciate in value, or are simply there to siphon off resources. All of that energy could be redirected into the things that genuinely matter to them. So now that the achievement can be defined, and the foundation that caused it is sound and not influenced by others, we can get to the more interesting part. Take the goal, whatever it may be, 
and study those who have already accomplished it. Learn about how they got to where they are today. This is, of course, referring mostly to larger goals, and you have to be careful at this point because it's where a number of people may try to sell you the answer. Don't accidentally fall into a trap. This is a technological era and basically everything is free to learn on the internet. Develop a path that emulates those that you have studied, but stay flexible. Break everything you plan to do down into smaller, more achievable steps, then shuffle them around between variable options to play on your strengths as opposed to focusing solely on correcting shortcomings. Someone wanting to become a pro athlete may focus so hard on improving their inability to throw a ball accurately that they may not expand upon the fact that they can run like the wind when that may be the very thing that pulls them through. Always lead with your strengths. This also allows for greater success initially, which is not only motivational, but can be the stepping stone that even allows further progress to take place. During the journey, it is entirely possible that something could happen that makes it seem unachievable. It's not. Find a way around it. Or adjust the end goal slightly to allow for success. Say, for example, a person wanted to be a NASCAR driver, but for whatever reason found out along the way or in planning that it wouldn't be possible. Despite a full understanding and passion for the sport and the function of the vehicles. Be willing to adjust the goal as a thought to be part of the pit crew of a favorite driver. Once on ground in the business, it's amazing how many opportunities pop up that weren't visible from the outside. Granted, I'm not an expert on NASCAR. It's much easier to make a small lateral step once you're in the door, and that's with almost any profession. Another thing to be aware of that's likely to come up is opposition. And surprisingly, it comes more often from loved ones and friends than it does from outside influences. I was told by one of my teachers back in high school that I would never become a pilot. Imagine the sense of pride I had the day that I took my first flight. I was told by one of my family members years ago that I was a loser and I would never make it in the military. And that did cross my mind when I stepped off that plane and all of my fellow soldiers made it home safe by my side. That's after nearly 400 days on or near a combat zone. People who have accomplished far greater things than I were beaten down by those around them and had to commit and believe in themselves in order to get where they are today. Don't ever let people break you down or stand in your way. Which brings me to my final and probably the most important aspect of any achievement and that is attitude. In the end it comes back full circle. The greatest opposition we have to anything that we want to accomplish is ourselves. Don't get dispirited no matter what happens. Find the opportunities behind any failure. Take the time during every step, every stage, to reflect on how far you've come from where you started. No matter where you stand, having made it to that point is an accomplishment and is testament to how capable you are to push it that much further. Use everything you have to leverage yourself beyond it. Ultimately, failure or success come down to a choice, and it takes a lot of courage and self-awareness to stand up for what truly matters and craft our own destiny. So two quick things I'd like to add before I'm done with this video. Firstly, in the comments down below, if you'd like, share an inspirational moment that you have had in your life where you've persevered against the odds. As they say, anything worth having is not likely to be easy. I'd like to hear your stories. I also have a supplementary video for this one. If you enjoyed it, I recommend you watch it as well. It's a short 
It has to do with building momentum in life to achieve success. Let's make it interesting. I will post it on any of the non-mainstream channels, so no Twitter or Facebook, at least for the first week. It gives us all a reason to step out of YouTube for a few minutes and go explore. I'll put the links directly to it down below so you can take your pick. That's all I have for today. Until next time, this has been Marcel. If you want to hear more content like mine, like and subscribe. And as always, thank you.